Hey, hey guys, and welcome, welcome to Daily Commitment, where we do a little bit of exercise every day, and then we increase that exercise very slowly. We are still traveling. We're gonna be back at our house in uh, a couple of days here. I'm gonna be able to use the pull-up rings, and those are gonna be way better for my wrists and this uh, little bit of forearm pain that I've been having. But today, we kind of have a compromise. I don't wanna skip a pull-up day. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start with a dead hang. I'm gonna do a short dead hang here. A dead hang is really good for um, strengthening your shoulders and your grip and stuff. It's actually a great auxiliary exercise to your uh, pull-ups. So anyway, we're down here in the basement. Everything's crowded, but uh, we're gonna start with a little dead hang here, and we're just gonna get a feel for this piece. One of the problems with uh, using this kind of thing here is it's just too short for me, and I have to lift my legs up. And when I lift my legs up like that, it kind of takes me out of alignment. It kind of messes up uh, my power for the pull-ups. So it's, it's not gonna be, look at this thing out of the way. It's not gonna be as good a session. But that's not what it's about, guys. Get out there and do a little bit every day. Let's throw the glasses. Get out there and do a, a little bit every day. Uh, and let's go, man. Uh, thank you to Giancarlo. It was good to see you again, man. Glad you're back. Anybody who wants to be part of the Let's Go crew, we love the comments. Um, let's go ahead and hang here. Like Giancarlo said, let's pump, pump, pump. We'll start with this dead hang. Now, now I don't have any pressure, really, because my... Now, there I'm hanging by my knee. There we go. So you guys see I have to pull my knees up to get this dead hang. Now, you can actually hurt yourself on a dead hang. You don't want to uh, swing. See, I'm, I'm going back and forth just a little bit. That's not good. But you can hurt your elbows. You don't really want to do it usually for more than a minute, especially when you're starting out. So don't hurt yourself. What you can do with the dead hang, you can do sets of dead hangs, right? You do a dead hang, take a rest, come back, do a dead hang. But uh, what I want to do is go ahead and see how a pull-up feels on this. Again, it's going to be kind of wacky with, uh, you know, hopefully I'm not going to hurt my forearm or something. I don't think I will because I'm going to take it really light and we'll just see how we feel in the first rep here uh, without the pull-up rings. And uh, let's just try it, guys. All right, so our feet are like this. We have to pull up. Then we're going to pull up. Okay. See right there, you can see at the beginning of the pull, I'm using a little too much forearm, I think. My arms are probably a little too close together. And one reason I do this, though, is I generate a little more power. I could feel that if I kept going, I'm just gonna use my, my, my feet to show you this. If I kept going, I would have been able to pull up, but my arms probably would have been a little too far in front of me. Probably would have been using too much forearm. Now you can also widen your grip too much and you can be kind of flat like this. You don't want to be too flat or too far forward. So I'm actually gonna widen my grip a little bit. And this thing's got a kind of a funky grip where it comes out a little bit. So everything feels wrong. But we're just gonna play with it and we're gonna be real gentle. We'll see how it feels. So we widen our grip a little bit, right, like this. And now we're gonna come up, ready? Oh. What I did there, I just let my feet assist me a little bit. Uh, this time I'm holding the feet up, let me come up. All right, we're still kind of using the feet a little bit. That's okay. Hey man, let's lift them up again. It's the very beginning here where you can really hurt yourself. I really kind of want to use my rings. So what I'm gonna do, those weren't that great. Those weren't that great, but it doesn't matter. Because you're doing that little bit and then you're gonna come in, you're gonna do it again. So don't hurt yourself. I'm telling you guys, the tortoise, not the hare, this is the way to do it. So we're gonna do, we do one more dead hang here. Let's do a dead hang. Let's count to like uh, maybe 30 seconds here. And I'm gonna go ahead and widen my grip on the dead hang too, like this. And we're just gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And we're gonna go ahead and stop. No problem stop a little early there. Um, so that's pretty good there. We got a little bit of stretch out. Uh, let's go ahead and do a few more of these uh, they're not even pull-ups, they're almost like stand-ups because I am supporting myself with my knee here. But that's because we really, we really don't want to tweak this forearm thing out again. We're on a different machine. But again, even a little bit of exercise like this, you're stimulating your muscles. I'm not skipping my workout day. So let's do it again. Let's get that pump going. We're gonna go like this. Again, a little wider of a grip. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna allow my legs to assist me a little bit. So I'm gonna pull mostly with my arms here, all the way up. Now this is interesting, because one of the things I want to do is I want to pull to my chest. That means as I pull up, I'm actually aiming for the chest to go up like that, right? 
but I don't know, man. This machine kind of sucks for me. Let's wait a second. I'm going to do a quick pause. We're going to come back. We're going to do it another set, but we're not going to do the dead hang first. We'll just do maybe three or four sort of assisted ones in just a second here, but let's rest a second. Um, should I just blab and talk the whole time? No, we'll rest a second. I'll be right back.